I don't know the last time you guys saw me was when i i think i showed you guys snippets of when i went to go do not my toes i just went for like a i don't think it's called a pedicure why does my skin look so crazy in this angle oh my days but i just went for like a foot treatment and honestly guys it was actually a really bad experience <laughs> but i'll tell you guys about that later it is a brand new day and currently I'm at my sister's apartment. I am in Ventuk. I'm at my sister's apartment and like we're debating whether or not we should move apartments because she wants to change to an apartment that's she wants to move into the apartment that I'm about to go in. But that's not the reason why I'm speaking to you guys. I'm speaking to you guys because today ooh, ooh, I need to get a wax, a serious one. But like yeah, I'm speaking to you guys because let me get inside. I feel like the lighting is so awkward. Um, I'm speaking to you guys because today I'm gonna go get my hair done, right? And I'm supposed to get a wig installed, and we're gonna do it at Fashion Wins. I'm excited, and we're also gonna do like my makeup and stuff. What is the lighting so weird? We're also going to do my makeup and stuff, so that's going to be exciting. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if I can get a wax appointment today. If I can't get a wax appointment today, I'll probably try and get one tomorrow. And then I can go get my outfit waxed. But for today, the agenda, the agenda is for me to go get my hair did. So my sister is contemplating whether or not she wants to move into this apartment or not. So I want to check something for her. But I just wanted to update you guys. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, I just, yeah, wash and with some condos. Alright. Yeah, so as you guys heard, I'm gonna wash my hair and I'm gonna do condos. And then we're gonna install our wig. Oh, I didn't show you guys my dress. Let me show you guys. Can I show you? Let me show you guys my dress. How cute is this dress? Wait, I don't think you guys can see it properly. 
My camera doesn't want to focus guys so I need to fix it but the dress is basically this dress and it has like a pocket and I'm wearing these sandals yeah sure. I would do like every three months it's up to you if you have strong hair yeah yeah, yeah I think my hair like it takes relax so well because I know people that like relax their hair they just great. It also depends on what type of relax you put in. Mm -hmm. If it's for the hey, come and hanging on my neck. The brace of matches is set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprints to Quebec. Chevy, boy, I'm on back. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the mat. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the team block. You know I gotta bring the team block. You know how sticky it gets. updating you guys properly so i don't know if i mentioned it by yesterday i wish i could show you guys the eyes that are on me <laughs> so yesterday um i was supposed to go to fashion wins so i did go to fashion wins you guys saw but the purpose of me going there was for collab right like to do the whole shebang the makeup the hair everything and so the person who does the makeup she is not she doesn't work at the salon but she was supposed to come according to my knowledge she was notified that she was supposed to come after work because she works like a eight to five job hmm. yeah, we're doing the corn rolls everything everything so at the point where we're supposed to install the wig the 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 girl that was left in charge was like because the owner wasn't there the girl who was left in charge is like no apparently the makeup artist is saying that she can't come because of the timing so apparently if we start now after five then the makeup takes two hours and then it will be dark by the time we are done and we won't be able to take content granted it's it makes sense but i'm like so you didn't know this information when you were told so there was a miscommunication Hey. Yeah, so <laughs> if not now then when? Who did not in in my kind of program one? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Every Sabbath was a dear. But Kara got more big. Okay. Maybe she said that because there's a program, but call and ask you. But she didn't call you back most. Anyway, so what had happened was um the whole thing was. So the whole thing got messed up because the makeup artist couldn't come and then the hairstylist, there was just so many complications. So I was like, so what must happen now? I got so upset, I was so sad. Then they were like, okay, cool, no, it's fine. They will install one of their rental wigs, which is this wig, and it's really, really pretty. I don't even think I showed you guys really, like I'll insert videos that I took. Yeah, really pretty. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna go get like the install and the makeup and the content and yeah we're going to do that and then on monday 
I have to go get a, a peel, a chemical peel, and a glow drop. I'm in my self care era fully. But yeah, so today is Saturday, and today my sister is hosting her bridal shower. So we're just gonna be helping with that. I don't even know what's gonna happen because I, I'm one of the bridesmaids who bridesmaids who know that I'm gonna be a bridesmaid, but the rest of the bridesmaids don't know that they are being invited to be told or to be asked to be a bridesmaid. So it's cute. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm babysitting, so. Can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you I'm just saying I can be Yeah, the one that you call and you talk to Girl I'll share my world with you If you gonna waste your time I like the fact that they are um she brought artificial grass. Say hi to my YouTube channel. Hi. <laughs> Say hi to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Another one. Guys, it's to 
my bridal squad. The people that are gonna make me look good on my big day. <laughs> It is the next day. Um, honestly, at this point, I'm so ready to go back to my apartment, my house. Yeah, because I've been in London for like almost a week now. So it was great. It was really lovely, much needed. But I do need to go back to my place. But I just have one more day to spend here today, is Sunday. I'm just gonna be spending tomorrow and then and then I'll probably leave like on Tuesday yeah but today I don't know if you guys remember but I think I mentioned that today I'm gonna go get a shoot done I'm gonna be working with fashion wings super excited I don't even know what we're gonna do to my hair you know I'm kind of nervous about that part but we're gonna do my hair and I'm also very nervous about the makeup because I barely do makeup like professionally done yeah but we're gonna do that today and then tomorrow we're gonna go get a glow drip i think you guys are very serious about my so okay we're gonna go get like my glow drip and then we're also gonna get my appeal done on my face and also i just want to give you guys a disclaimer i want to go get the pope and then i want to give you guys a disclaimer so for those of you guys who are new on my channel um i have been taking these supplements so this is hair skin and nails from clicks and then this is the chewable vitamin c there's a chewable vitamin c and then i have a cranberry extract that i take you see so i take these like on a daily basis i mean sometimes i forget but i take these on a daily basis and this one has been very popular on my instagram and on youtube as well just in general because it has worked for me in terms of like my skin when my skin is acting up when i take it when i take these like it gets better instantly and this has also helped a lot with my hair growth like you guys saw how long my hair is however i do want to make a disclaimer i do think that these pearls have helped my hair grow but i must put it out there that guys like i think my the length of my hair might also be to a certain degree genetic because my mom oh i'm having a towel by the way because my mom also has really 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 long hair and yesterday i noticed that my elder sister also has like long hair not longer than mine though but she also has really long hair you know longer than the average girl with like 4c hair yeah but i just wanted to put that out there so despite the fact that might be genetic might not be i don't know these pearls have been working for me you know so i just want to go put my camera on the charger shower get ready for the shoot and also yeah charge my camera <laughs> so yeah, i'll see you guys later so just finished just got out of shower so i'm about to look for something to wear in my sister's closet because when last there was a point in my life guys where i just used to shop in my sister's closet and she used to get so angry <laughs> And then my younger sister came and she started doing the same shit to me and it just mm, it just pissed me off this is water pump yeah so i'm just gonna try and do that and then get ready and then go because i don't want to be late and you guys know now there's one thing that i've been noticing a lot like amongst like i want to say youtubers because they are the only people that i watch that say these things like who can i say in the moment man they are always like oh guys i'm running late Ugh, i'm late again as usual da, da, da. do you understand like so for me i just don't like being late because it's just a sign that like they see an ordinary do you get me so let me find them to wear my closet quick so i'm about to go get my getting to my cab but i decided to wear all black instead same pants but the matching top and not the orange top i was really so yeah Michael. ok 
location. I'll see you guys when I get there. Bye, doll. I am so annoyed. Like, I actually want this makeup artist to come so I can see her face. So I can show you guys, because she's so unprofessional. Oh my god. No. I'm no. so annoyed. Like, I arrived here at 10. 10. She was supposed to be here around 11, it was 12. It's going for fucking 2pm. 2 2 2 How much it costs? It never been cheap. It never been cheap. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up, turn your bitch up, dog. Turn them up, turn these streets, can't cross it. Cross them up, all these streets need bosses. Cross them up, turn your click up, dog. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn around, tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them all, all these streets need bosses. Yeah. My dog get low on his pockets, I'm picking no more. Ooh. We came from the bottom together, my nigga. We get it, we splitting it up. If my bitch tell me pay for that pussy, I'll take her hair shopping and tell her shut up. Oh my gosh, the lighting is not the best. But, okay, it's okay here. Yeah, it's okay here. We just, okay, we didn't just finish. I finished maybe around three. No, we were around four, five. And we only finished with like shooting and everything at the time. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna go home. Oh, I'm probably gonna go somewhere. Just have a cold drink and then I'm gonna go home. Yeah. Let me show you guys the way. Like, oh, it's not showing, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous wig. But you should check out my IG, I will be posting fire, fire pics. If you see these pictures, you need to go comment eight times five a period. <laughs> but it's gorgeous, and the makeup is stunning. It's just that you guys can't see it now, but in the pictures, you will see it. I look like those Nigerian wives. Like, are you kidding me? No, she ate. I was not sure she was late, but she ate. She ate this face down. What? Wow. 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 Not literally. No, but so guys welcome back to my youtube channel do you guys know what happened so after i left the salon i said that oh now you guys can see the makeup mm. but after i left the salon i decided no let me go to Havani, drink one cocktail and then i'll go home ask me if i'm going home no <laughs> <laughs> no, ask me if I'm going home. I almost left you and went on its own. I found <laughs> home really left me <laughs> and he went on his own. And then I stayed with Kashiva and a mystery man. But yeah, so now we are on our way just to chill out, hang out. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We will go do the skin stuff. Hi, Yana. I will eat it. Where the
up, dog. Turn them up, turn your bitch up. It happened. Yeah. So, guys, as I told you guys, I'm here at Dr. Mesh's office and we're gonna be doing a peel. And I'm also gonna do the, the drip now. Uh, which one? The glow drip. You said, yeah, the glow drip. Okay, no, today we're just in the skin peel. The skin peel. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do the skin peel and then I just wanted to explain, you know, in detail as to what it's gonna do. You're <laughs> okay. right? Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, um, we're gonna do a superficial skin peel. Okay. There's three different types of well, there's many different types of peels, mm -hmm. but the one we're doing for you essentially is for is a brightening peel, okay. which you will notice after you've completed the four sessions mm -hmm. that you obviously is a difference in your skin appearance mm -hmm. or your change. Mm -hmm. um, but the most important thing is the fact that it's it's just a superficial peel. There's a there's a medium peel and there's a deep peel, but those are for other skin conditions. This one is a very light peel that you can do at least every two weeks, and you need four sessions. Four sessions. Mm -hmm. me, four sessions. <laughs> Good. Mm. So, so you need four sessions, uh -huh. and then uh, which we will, like I explained, we're gonna do every two weeks. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna start with the first session, okay. and then uh, we'll follow you up after two weeks, and then we'll see the difference thereafter. But mm -hmm. also, there's a lot of things that you need to do. It's not just the peel. Uh, mm. You need to once you've done the peel, you need to make sure that you protect your skin. Mm. Very, very important to wear sunscreen every day, mm -hmm. whether you're gonna be in the sun or not. Mm -hmm. You need to wear sunscreen all the time. Okay. Um, and I wanted to ask, how much do these peels go for per session? Okay, so we our peel specifically this um, brightening peel goes for six hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and then you have the five hundred dollars consultation that mm -hmm. you pay every time you come to consult, and then mm -hmm. we only charge for six hundred. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you guys heard that. So you see my skin glowing. Don't come asking me many <laughs> questions. Okay. Um. Do you know? Uh, uh, what is it? What do you call it? Rectin, what do you guys call it? Oh, the, uh, yeah. no, no. I know of it, but I've never. You haven't used it. Mm -mm. Okay, good. Because we can't do a skin peel if you're on that. You need to be off. Okay. Yes. Um. So I need to ask you a few personal questions now. Okay. With regards to your history, okay. because I also need to know. Like, it's not just about the peel. Like I said, I need mm. to know your entire history. What's going on? Okay. Which kind of other maybe possible um conditions do you have mm. that I need to look out for. Alright. Great. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna feel how much it costs. It never been cheap. It never been turn your click up dog. Turn them up, turn your bitch up dog. Turn them up, tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up, all these streets need bosses. Cross them up, turn your click up dog. Turn them up, turn your bitch up dog. Okay. Okay, so since we're, we're doing the superficial peel, mm -hmm. um, there's some side effects that you can expect to find. Okay. For example, you might have uh, reddening, mm -hmm. like once you've done the peel, mm -hmm. or maybe flaking, but not necessarily. Mm -hmm. And it should at least heal already between day one to day three. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, there's people have different reactions to the masks, mm -hmm. but. Uh, not the master peel. Mm -hmm. People have different reactions to the peel, but those are the common side effects that you can expect. Basically, like it's like a, an inflammation. Oh, okay. When you're doing something to the skin. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be hypersensitive for the <coughs> first. Somewhat. Yes. Okay. And then in the first eight hours, you can't use makeup or anything. Mm -hmm. You can also wash your face. You need okay. to let it just. Yeah, okay. and then you need to make sure that you, you have your sunscreen on mm -hmm. avoid the sun by all means mm -hmm. and also you need to hydrate 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 okay. because there's no point taking care of your skin but you're also not you know hydrating your with, with mm. water and all of that okay good um so i need you to sign the consent form <laughs> In my bitch tell me pay for that pussy, I'll take a hair shopping and tell her shit up. Standing on business, standing on business, ain't nothing to pipe that shit up. It ain't nothing to turn your bitch up. It ain't nothing to turn your click up. Ain't nothing to shit. We turn the jeweler up, just look at the diamonds we bust. Look at the people we touch. Shit, I'm feeling like Puffy and Rush. I'm feeling this shit like a little little nigga so nasty, I've never been flushed. Well, if a rapper's and came with a kid on it, the shit that you like, it kick it, you spin on it. Hundreds of bands, I put a little shit. Don't put my hand, I had to go flip something. He want the scoop, she want the tea. She want the tea. I cannot speak. We keeping it street. We keeping it street.
guys. Um, hold on. So I'm actually just sending pictures of my cleanser. Oh, focus. Oh, I'm not going on with this camera's focus these days, but okay, there we go. I was just sending pic a picture of the cleansers that I do have to Dr. Amesha because um, basically as she explained to you guys like I did a brightening peel but it was nothing hectic like she literally just applied something I forgot what it is but she applied it on my face and like I it's I have to go through a couple of sessions so after two weeks I need to go back to Ventuk again to get um the second session done but then she was very specific she told me that i can't use gentle magic <laughs> she told me i should get rid of my gentle magic that's crazy and you guys know my ogs know i love me some gentle magic because my skin my face just loves gentle magic so she was like none of that so these are the only cleansers that i have at the moment so she told me that i should use a cleanser that doesn't leather too much for me this is this one i'm actually a real nivea girl guys like nivea really does my skin good more often than not so i hope that like this one is a good one for us to use or for me to use yeah so it's a new day as you guys can see i'm back home those who know know this headboard is means that i'm back home and um yeah i just feel so good guys i feel so good to be back like i've been in i was in Venduk for almost a week and a half and I felt like I went back and then I got recharged, like I, I got like re-energized, like I got fueled up and then I came back. Because it really feels like that, like I love my family so much. And even though they annoy the hell out of me, <laughs> I love them so much. And like without even realizing, they actually fuel me. Because sometimes when like living alone is cool like it's really fun you can do whatever you want but at the same time it also gets really lonely like the people who i've been living alone for almost two years now that's crazy it's going for two years now is it last year was a year so it's going for two years yes yeah so it gets really lonely like you know if you're a person like me that's an introvert and an extrovert like it actually drives you insane because at the same time i love i mean i love to be out with people i love talking to people i like laughing i like making people laugh but at the same time i like to be alone i got to be alone you got to leave me alone like as in as i'm here now yeah i actually don't want anybody to call me like text me only my they will notice that i'm not going to be answering their calls but i'm not going to tell them because they won't understand my friends and my family my best friend is probably going to while but that's that's what it is right now i need a break from them i gave me to them all this time that i was there okay so now i just need this little time to myself so today i actually want to go get some stuff because I don't have anything because you guys that know me know that I don't buy monthly groceries I buy like weekly groceries like I just buy what I need so right now I need to get a couple of stuff man like I just need to make a list I wanted to go to the gym but then I was just like okay relax but I also want to go to the beach so I don't know like we're still gonna figure out <sighs> how we're gonna do what but I definitely need stuff for the house I also wanted to go get like a new plant but that means I need to go to the mall because I bought the plants that I have in Checkers. So I don't know about that. Checkers is a bit far from where I stay. So I still need to think about that. Right now, the time is 10.20. I've been up watching um, Showmax. I've been watching Youngins. And, oh, Dr. Amisha responded. Let's see. Okay, ah, she said that I should remove the Garnier. Because to be honest with you guys, this stuff, this this Garnier mm -mm, never worked for my face really. Sometimes I even use it for my body. <laughs> Not even sometimes, I've been using it for my body because, you know. Speaking of using it for my body, I should make notes because I don't have shower gel. But now that my face soap, which is my gentle magic, is going to be going to... <laughs> 
a body soap for me i'm just gonna need a couple of i'm i'm actually gonna have to go to the mall at this point so a uh, shower gel so i'm gonna be making the bullet points here so basically she said that i should remove this one which is perfect because for me this is i love this cleanser so much and i love to double cleanse okay so now that i don't because double cleansing when i say double cleansing i mean like i would use the gentle magic and then i would probably use this cleanser do you understand but now i'm going to use these two together and see i've never used them together but i really like them yeah so that's that what else i wanted to sit and preach for you guys but i don't know if now is the perfect time to talk about that but i think later because right now my tummy is screaming and i need to go to the toilet i don't know what i've been eating these days but yeah i'm really feeling like i've been talking for a long time right now but i i, I don't know i'm feeling like i'm back i'm feeling like i'm back i don't know if this vlog has been giving you guys ah there's ready <laughs> We missed you girl if you missed me comment right now comment right now a blue emoji <laughs> okay guys i just need to figure out my life and then as soon as i'm done i'll come back to you guys and then i'll give you guys the 411 on what's supposed to happen today hey guys so i've decided to do my skincare with you guys because i know that a lot of you guys really want to know what i use on my skin so we're gonna start a new skincare routine Seeing that I have to take some things out of my skincare routine that I was used to. So I'm basically starting a new skincare routine, but with some stuff still in. I know. If you understand, you understand. But anyways, so I'm going to do my skincare routine with you guys. I think that's something that you guys would like to see, so... Her name is Tushi, like she's a South African YouTuber, and she's talking about how she bought like heels from Mr. Price, and like she bought them because they're cute, because they really do look cute. But the heels were 80 rand, ne? And I'm like, one thing I've learned, guys, is that like sometimes some things are cheap and like it's a gem, like you know, the quality is good. Do you get me? Now she's saying she bought the shoes for 80 rand. She's saying she bought the shoes for 80 rand, but the shoes hurt her. And she's like, the shoes feel like they were 80 rand. The moral of the story is that sometimes, guys, cheap is expensive. Because the thing is, I had a similar story when I bought like a blow dryer, right? A blow dryer, if you buy it, it's expensive. And it's something you want to keep for a very long time, right? So I bought a blow dryer and that blow dryer was like 180 or oh, as a 120. I think it was in clicks. It was definitely in clicks. I, it was cheap and it was a hundred and something. And I was like, oh, a bargain, child. Tell me why a year later that blow dryer doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. So now I had to decide to save up more money. Obviously, I cannot go buy the same blow dryer again, do you get me? Um, so I had to save up more money again to go buy another blow dryer, meaning I basically wasted money. If I bought a good blow dryer, the first time I bought a blow dryer, I would still have my good blow dryer. So cheap is expensive because you end up spending more money than you should. He want the scoop, she want the tea, she want the tea. I cannot speak, we keep it in the street, we keep it in the street. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna get beat. How much it costs? It never been cheap. It never been cheap. Turn your click up, dog. Turn them up, turn your bitch up, dog. Turn them up, tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up, all these streets need bosses. Cross them up, turn your click up, dog. Turn your bitch up, dog. Turn it up. Tiny streets can't cross it. Cross them up. All these streets need bosses. Hey, my dog get low on this pockets. I'm picking no more. So we can't find no bottom together, my nigga. We get it. We splitting it up. Okay, guys. So I'm basically done. I'll show you guys my outfit of the day now. But I thought maybe is the lighting. Hmm. I'm gonna keep it like this. 
so i'm done i just want to show you guys my scent of the days guys i don't even know what these things are called now or what the real how to pronounce a real name but i know this is the oud plus perfume i bought these perfumes in dubai you know like when you're at the mall and they have those people in the middle you know with the little pop-up shops i bought those perfume of uh, these perfumes there so this one i like this one smells like this one smells almost like um what's that perfume's name baccarat but it has its own yeah it just has its own thing so yeah and this one is like a floral scent so i'm gonna layer these two i'll first put on this one because it's a bit stronger okay like when i wear these perfumes it turns heads baby mm. <laughs> my sister says i bought in perfume and honestly i don't see a reason why not it's me and my brother-in-law. Yo, yo, yo. No, we feel this perfume. Shem. Anyways. <laughs> That's basically it. I just want to put my lip gloss in my bag. Oh, I just found this lip gloss. I was looking for this lip gloss. And I was about to go buy myself lip gloss. Mmm. I love this feeling. Um, mm. Okay, so. I'm just going to grab my stuff. I wanted to put on a hat as you guys see i just have my cornrows out literally just have my cornrows out and i wanted to put on a hat but it's but i decided against it i decided against it so that i can wear my headphones because how am i going to run errands with no music that don't even make no sense baby so yeah what is this <gasps> Oh, I'm finding things I've been looking for. God damn. Public affairs and communications. Mm. What's the name? Ah. This is a business card I have been looking for. This, man. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. I should calm down. So, let me just grab my stuff that I'm going to show you guys my otd nothing too hectic i'm so glad that i'm back in the coast now i can wear my sweats in peace okay guys so this is basically the fit this is the hairstyle <laughs> and then i'm wearing these shades and then like this sweat pants and jersey where did i buy this i think i bought this in pep yeah and then the fendi glasses this top i bought it in mr price and it's just my mj creations necklace jewelry you know the usual in this bag i bought it in for shimi guys don't mind the stuff at the back we all know i just arrived i just arrived See, my mirror needs god and then i have my steve maiden slides on so that's basically the little fit okay actually in the afternoon my day starting pretty late today because i woke up really early and i was up working at like what time was that i think seven no was it seven was it earlier i don't know child all i know is when i was done it was eight o'clock um and then 
I went back to sleep okay but we have basically kind of like reached the end of this vlog I'll be closing up this vlog here because I also noticed that oh, I didn't notice it happened that I lost footage in the beginning of this vlog in the beginning of this vlog I went to go visit my friend um, and I was chilling with them the boys you know but I lost that footage and I'm, I was so upset when I lost that footage because I thought I sent the footage from my phone to the laptop mm. just for me to come and edit and realize girl the footage is gone and I knew I already deleted it so that was really like sad for me but I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something that I mentioned in the beginning okay with two things the one was um, I remember telling you guys about the, the spa that I went to that was like a horrible experience I wouldn't say the spa is bad now but it's an okay spa the spa is that spa at um I think what's the hotel's name is it palm tree hotel is it tall tree it's that hotel in Windhoek West right I think something palm or something tree or something but yeah so i went to the spa and i wanted to go get like a food treatment so they when i called i asked them like what does the food treatment entail and they were like no okay you know um they are basically just like treating the food like with now scrubs and stuff like that and treatments and i was like okay cool so i was like okay let me go for that i got them and then the first thing I noticed is that like for me personally, I don't know if I'm being judgy, but like for me guys, you offering any food treatment, any food something and not having a food spa is just such a big red flag for me. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? I think food, a food spa is just one of those things that fit perfectly into you having whatever food treatment you're giving. Okay, fine, shop. They don't have a food spa. I'm just like, okay, cool, babe. The lady's doing my feet, she's doing my feet. And like, I can see now she's um filing, basically. I don't know what the word is, scrubbing. The thing that looks like a file. You guys saw the one that was there in the beginning of the of the, of the the vlog. And she's, she's doing that, she's doing that. But I'm like, this lady doesn't look like she knows what she's doing. But I'm like, whatever. Oh, guys, I've been so nauseous. I think my period is coming yeah so she's scrubbing she's scrubbing i can just tell this lady doesn't know what she's doing now she's scrubbing there and i remember when i arrived i told her that like no um so for me like my feet when i don't know if it's because now when i live now that i live in the coast and it's a lot more humid and moist here that like when i get to ventuk like my feet just dry up my skin dries up even when i like apply lotion i constantly need to reapply because I just feel like my feet and my skin is just dry right so i tell her like i don't really have like cracks under my feet or whatever i just need you to like scrub off the dead skin that's there it's basically just dead skin dead dry skin they're like okay cool she's like yeah no da, da, da. and then she now starts scrubbing scrubbing and then i can see because i know my feet and i've already observed the areas where the dry skin is at she's there scrubbing 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 and i can see the parts where she's struggling to get it off but she's just pretending like she can't see it and then after that i'm just saying jiggy jiggy the lady's going to go get one bucket like this and then now i'm being my feet are being scrubbed like with a with a scrub i mean like, in my head i'm asking myself how are we scrubbing the feet because sometimes like if you have gotten a really good foot treatment before you know that sometimes they put your feet like in and it's like in a treatment or they wet your feet and then they scrub again not with the scrub not with the scrub for exfoliating like that thing so sometimes they they wet your feet so that the parts that they couldn't get off like the dry skin that they couldn't get off they make it wet and then they like scrub it off i don't know if you understand you just understand but the moral of the story is just that like the sequence of things just didn't make sense <clears throat> after the scrub i'm just seeing that i the person is just putting lotion or oil on my feet and we are done i'm like we're done yeah so for me that was just a horrible experience to be honest because what food treatment is, what what why would you call it a food treatment if that's something that somebody can do in their shower there's no treatment do you understand what i'm saying but anyways that's number one number two is that like guys like there's been a lot of i don't know how to put it like um so basically like i've just come to the conclusion that now guys in this life 
there are things that like will happen to you if you don't take control of your life nah? and i'm talking about something as simple as like just like getting kids getting married okay not getting married per se but like you know choosing the reality choosing your reality you know and over the past six months i know before this like before even my relationship i wasn't really thinking about those things but i knew deep down like deep gamma dp i knew deep down inside that like i never wanted to have kids out of wedlock because personally i grew up with a single mom you know so i know what that looks like and i remember making a promise to myself that like i would never put myself in a position for my kids to be in that position where they like grow up in a house where there's like no father figure or like just a dad you know like you can have a father but not have a dad you get me so i made that promise to myself you know not to have kids out of wedlock this that and the third you know and i came across a video the other day that reminded me of it and it was like um basically if you follow google it you would have seen it sne she was talking about how like people look down on her when she speaks about like the things that she wants for herself which is like not having kids out of wedlock which is like getting married and first enjoying her marriage enjoying her husband and then having kids you know and it reminded me of myself so much because i know i remember there was this time i was talking to like a group of people and i was like i'll never have kids out of wedlock and i remember the guy saying like Ugh, you should know better that like just because you are um just because you want to have kids after you're married doesn't mean you're going to keep the man that's okay if we end up um being in a situation where we had to get a divorce then i feel like that was what was meant to happen you understand however i am not going to put myself in a position of being a baby mama and nobody's going to convince me that being a baby mama is being is, is better than getting married having the kids you know after marriage and then maybe even getting a divorce like for me i'm just like it's okay like i don't want to even compare the two you know because that if that's the reality that you choose then you go in that direction if that's the reality that i choose then i would like to go into that direction do you get what i'm saying i just hate it when people impose their opinions onto you do you understand like very giving very much um projecting do you get me like even if you don't 100 percent agree with what i say imposing your stupid opinion on me like i don't like that like i really don't like that and i feel like that's what has been happening to me a lot especially because do you know guys know that a lot of people romanticize like oh not even romanticize they glamorize mm -mm, being a single mom like oh i okay obviously i'm i must tread lightly but i don't mean i'm when I, what, I, what i'm about to say is not something that i'm saying to try and offend somebody it's just how i see it and then again it's just my opinion sometimes i feel like there are people who try and make being a single mom like look cool or be like oh no i just want the child i don't want the man or like they like they say i don't know how to explain it and i don't want to specify i don't want to give examples because the shoe might fit do you get me but people just like to glamorize they make they try to make it look like it's a cool thing it's not fun it's not cute like you guys saw earlier in the video i was babysitting my nephew and like with my nephew i've come to the realization that like it's very important that you have a great support system when you decide to have a kid do you understand so my 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 my, my nephew's mother my sister <laughs> she has her fiance you know she has us and then she also has like the people who are close to her fiance like his family members and whatnot now i'm imagining now giving birth and having a baby ne? and being at odds with the baby daddy like you guys are fighting you guys are not together and i'm pretty sure you have a, a great emotional attachment to that man because you carried his child do you understand what i'm saying so for me it's a big deal guys it's really a big deal and i will do everything in my power not to be a baby mama if you guys ever see that i'm a baby mama i don't know there must be something there something is there guys there's a reason why i did it something is there something really something is there but anyways i'm gonna end this vlog here and then i'm gonna start a new vlog because i remember i told you guys i wanted to get i wanted to go get bed sheets and stuff i wasn't successful with that yesterday because they don't have mm -mm, they don't have mr price home at the mall and i wasn't about to run around with all those groceries 
yeah so i'll probably do that tomorrow tomorrow is a saturday and yeah so today i'm just gonna finish off this vlog it's a friday i'm hoping that i think i can upload this video and have it up by sunday so you guys will probably be watching this on a sunday if you've reached this point of the video guys please please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already i know some of you guys keep coming back and you're not subscribing and i just feel like why why are you not subscribing do you hate me please subscribe guys i will see you guys in my next video bye